Greetings, Earthlings. Well, I'm still waiting for uh, my replacement transistors to arrive to repair this B and K curve tracer. But in the meantime, I sort of took the opportunity to check all of the uh, resistors in here. Uh, and some of them measure out of spec. Now I'm measuring them in circuit and you can do that sometimes. Uh, and sometimes you can't. But if you measure it in circuit and it measures high, um, then uh, there's a pretty good uh, indication that you're getting an accurate reading because uh, the inaccuracies come when there's something that's in parallel with it somewhere else in the circuit and that would actually that would reduce the reading. Well, you can see there are several uh, large carbon composition, these are one watt resistors, I think. There's four of them. One, two, three, four. And let's see, what do we have? Here's R2. In circuit, it measures, oh, it's a, so it's nominally 4.7K, 10%, one watt resistor. In circuit, it measures 4.82K, which is okay. Uh, what's this one? R15. R15 is a 220 ohm, 5% 1 watt resistor. That measures 254 ohms. And then R16 is also a 220 ohm, 1 watt, 5% resistor. That measures 250 ohms. So those are out of spec. Uh, and then R38 over here is another 4.7K, 10 percenter. And it measures 5.46K. So it's out of spec. So I'm going to go ahead and replace those, whether they really truly need it or not. They're not really critical components, but what I've got to replace them is um, some uh, metal oxide resistors. And these are much more stable, um, better temperature coefficient, and overall, and, and actually they're rated at three watts instead of one watt, even though they're basically the same size. So those will be better long-term solutions. Uh, again, this thing was built, looks like, in 1974, so it's at least 46 years old. And uh, 47, you know, 74, 75, somewhere in that range. Um, so it isn't really too surprising that some of these resistors have drifted. Uh, carbon resistors and of course the even the precision ones here are carbon film precision and some of them have drifted uh, I actually replaced R7 already as you can see here that was a 10 ohm well 5% and it measured 9.66 which is actually in spec but I thought I can do better I've got a 10 ohm 1% so I'm putting that in there um, the resistors in the digital to analog converter over here are actually um, slightly out of spec, a couple of them. So they're specced at 12.4K, 24.9K, and 49.9K. I think the actual values don't matter much. It's just, it should go, you know, 1X, 2X, 4X. Uh, representing each bit of the of the uh, three bit digital to analog converter, the twelve point four measures twelve point five six. The the uh, twenty four point nine measures twenty four point nine one, and the forty nine point nine k these are all k ohms measures fifty point four three. So, if we say the target values are actually 12.5, 25.0, and 50.0, then R46 is about half a percent uh, above, uh, out of, well, above the nominal. Uh, R45, the 
0.9 slash 25k is 0.36% uh, below and the 50k ohm is 0.86% above all within spec but you know what <laughs> I don't have an answer for the 12 for the 12.5 I don't have any 12.4 k's but <laughs> But I went through my resistors and I have here a 24.9K that measures 25.00 something. And I have a 49.9K that measures 50.00 something K. Uh, and uh, boy, I sure am tempted to just put those in there, even though it doesn't need it. Uh, that's it for the resistors. Everything else checks okay uh well with one exception which is this guy over here which again is again non-critical that's a um wire wound well i don't know as if it's non-critical because apparently it's a one percent and it's reading 986 where it should be 1k um, I'm not going to worry about it. I really, what I should do is replace the transistor and get the circuit all working first before I go ahead and replace these. But because I don't have the transistor, um, I'm going to do it in reverse order. The other thing is there are five electrolytic capacitors. And, well, they seem to be working. And let's see, these biggies are uh, Illinois Capacitor, which is a quality brand. I'm not sure what these other uh, three are. But they are 45 years old. And so they have exceeded their useful life. So I'm going to go ahead and replace them. And so I've got some uh, nice replacement ones here. So those are rated at 35 volts. The new ones are rated at 63 volts, 125 degrees C, and um, what was it? 6,000 hours or something. So these are these are high quality and they'll be high reliability and they'll be good for another 50 years. Similarly with the other three, which these are, uh, let's see, that was a thousand microfarads. These are 100 microfarads. And so um, I got some, uh, these are United Chemicons. Uh, 100 microfarad, 35 volts. And uh, they're also rated at 125 degrees C. I, I guess these are um, uh, meant to be uh, automotive parts. But uh, Again, rated like 5,000 hours at uh, 125 degrees C. So again, should be super reliable. And this thing should be good for another uh, 50 years when I get it uh, back together and working again. So this is why, you know, for me, it doesn't make sense to buy a good working one because I'm going to mess with it anyway. <laughs> I'm going to go in and, you know, probably replace parts that may or may not need it. Probably don't need it, you know, if it's in good working condition, but just because of, just because of their age, you know. And, of course, I'm the guy who puts 40-year-old um, tantalum capacitors in my retro computing projects. <laughs> but, <laughs> hey, what the heck. Um, they haven't failed me yet. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, that's the update from here, and hopefully those transistors will arrive shortly, and I can get uh, get this thing back and working again. But meanwhile, I'm going to replace some parts. All right, and here are the parts. Uh, I haven't done those uh, digital to analog converter resistors yet, but uh, these are the big capacitors, well, all the electrolytics, and the big resistors. And they measure the same outside, these resistors measure the same outside as they did inside. So three of them are out of spec, and one of them, 
Only one of them is still in spec. The electrolytics. Well, uh, let's look at these. These were Elmas. Okay. 100 microfarad, 25 volts. They're all 100 microfarad, 25 volts, but there's two Elnas and an IEC. I don't know why the IEC, why this is a different brand. The Elnas are still in spec. Um, this one measured 109 microfarads and 0.58 ohms ESR. This one, 114 microfarads, 0.566 ESR. So that's getting... Um, that's getting toward, you know, it's what you call marginal. Uh, but the other thing about these, both of these show a bit of bulging, and they did appear to uh, have leaked. So I, those, I, I don't feel bad about replacing those. This one actually measured out of spec, and I wrote down, I wrote down... The numbers on here, and I can't read it because I used a black pen. 132, I think. Let's let's check it. Let's check it again. Now I'm using uh, 120 hertz here because that's what these things are operating at. So this will be minus. And we'll go. Uh, ESR. ESR is not out of whack, but the capacitance is out of range. Okay, 132. So that should be a, that should be plus or minus 20 percent. Um, although it's possible, this is on is this on the five volt line regulated. It's possible that this was a cheaper capacitor, a minus, you know, that was rated minus 20 plus 80 percent, which would say it's still in spec. Um, again, there's some indication of possibly some leakage under there. I'm sure you cannot see that. But either that or, you know, someone spilled a Coke on the, on the thing, but I, I don't think so. Um, oh, I should... And I'll see if you can see these. I cleaned up, used some alcohol to clean up under the, uh, what was under the capacitors. And so you can see maybe a little bit of discoloration there. It looked worse when it first came off. So as it's, as it's dried, now that one isn't done. So these three. Uh, as it's dried, it's lightened up, but... Uh, Definitely took something off there, and I don't think it was the, uh, you know, coating on the PC board or anything. Uh, and that leaves us with the Illinois capacitors. And yes, they're still in spec, but again, they're showing to me that they're kind of at the end of their useful life, I think, because they're spec at uh, plus or minus 20 percent, and they're both up there close to, uh, to so they're 1,000 microfarad, to, uh, 120 percent would be 1,200 microfarad. This one's 1199. The ESR is still very good at 0.043. This one's 1179 and 0.046. So these did still have some life left in them, but uh, again I don't feel bad about replacing them after 45 years.